Hello. I'd like to issue an urgent appeal to activists all over the world. Please wear the white armband, a white armband to signify the Bahraini monarchy's torture of wounded patients in the hospital and torture of medical staff and abduction of doctors. Please wear a white armband at least once a week in public in order to spread the message around the world that the United States government has remained silent and has allowed torture to continue in Bahrain unabated. You can make a white armband from a, a bed sheet. You can just simply cut it out and simply just quickly tie it, quickly tie it around around your shoulder here. It's a very powerful symbol. Oftentimes the symbol for medical staff would be white and then a red cross or a red crescent. But because that is reserved strictly for medical people, the next best thing would just simply be the color white as a white armband. This will spread the message powerfully. Please wear this in America, in, North, in South America, in Europe, in London, in Sweden, in San Francisco, in New York. People will see it and they will ask, what is this? And you can tell them, there is a place where people want freedom. There is a place where hundreds of thousands of people protested peacefully, asking for their basic rights but they were violently attacked, and they were hurt, and they were shot, and they were beaten, and many of them flooded into the hospitals, but then they were tortured. You can tell them, there is a place where people who want freedom are tortured in the hospital. People who want freedom are tortured when they are wounded, that doctors are abducted, and that the United States government has refused to condemn it, has refused to say anything regarding the gross human rights violations because they want to continue sending, continue selling billions of dollars in arms to the regime because it is near a place that has a lot of oil. And whoever you tell that to, no matter what their background is, they will be completely shocked when you tell them that there is a place where they tortured wounded people in the hospital and abduct doctors, and that the United States government has said nothing about it. Please wear it. Post this, post this message on YouTube. Post this message on Twitter. Spread it on Facebook. Tell it to all your friends. Tell everybody to wear the white armband. I know it might be hard wearing it at work. I know it might be hard wearing it at certain other places, maybe at school. That's okay. But you can at least wear it once a week in public, maybe shopping or at the mall or walking on the street or whatever. People will see it and they will ask. And you can tell them about it and you can refer them. Refer them to videos on YouTube that show the graphic forms of torture and abuse, that show the CNN and Al Jazeera and Physicians for Human Rights documentaries about it. Or you can refer them, refer them to Physicians for Human Rights uh, website or their report. Or you can refer them to my site, www.supportbahrainrights.com. Dot com, which tries to lay it out in a very brief, concise manner of exactly how horrible the abuses are in Bahrain right now. And, let, and tell them, after they visit the site, to also wear the white armband and refer others as well. This will spread. This can spread all over schools. It can spread all over. It can spread through, act, through activist groups. It can spread through the world. We need to let the world know what is going on in Bahrain. 
Now, people may say, well, well, can we emphasize this for very long? Yes, we can. Because once the United States remains silent about the torture of, of wounded patients and doctors in the hospital, it told the Bahraini monarchy that it could torture anybody. And that's what the Bahraini monarchy is doing now. It's torturing reporters. It's torturing teachers. It's torturing human rights activists. It is torturing, it's even torturing ex-members of parliament. That is right. We've got a report here about a, an individual, Jawad Farouz, who uh, was arrested one night. He was a member of parliament. And um, the next morning, he was in the military hospital, and people said he looked really bad. And you have... Uh, person after person, horror story after horror story. Another person, Ibrahim Sharif, a 53-year-old politician, um, and uh, he also uh, he was being tortured for weeks. I mean, they're torturing everybody now because this told them they can. So we need to let the entire world know. We need to let them know. You see... Every nation in the world needs to condemn the Bahraini monarchy, the Al Khalifa regime, for, for committing the most outrageous human rights abuses you can think of. There is no excuse for torturing wounded patients in the hospital. That is a scandal, and we cannot let them walk away from it. Um... We also need to wear the white armband because this is showing the United, the United States allies in the region, such as Saudi Arabia and Yemen, that they too can violently do anything they want to crush the most basic dreams and aspirations of their people who want to be able to have basic democracy, who want to be able to have their basic rights. Saudi Arabia is most likely participating in the horrible abuses in Bahrain because it has a thousand troops there. And the worst abuses started once Saudi Arabia arrived, such as the occupation of the hospitals. We need to show that the world does care and that we do see what's going on. So please spread the word. Spread the word. Send this message everywhere and wear the white armband. Wear it at least once a week. And um, this can also be very powerful if you're walking in a group of three or four. It can be a small group of three or four. You have large signs saying, Stop arming human rights torturers. U.S. stop arming them in Bahrain. And you list, list sites, maybe a YouTube video on the sign, or my site or any site and you walk down the street, that will, get, that will get a lot of attention. Please, spread it through the world. Spread it through the world. We need to start wearing the white armband. We need to spread the message. Thank you so much.